This demo will show you how to export a single Power BI report to CSV format. The schedule is going to be set to run on the last day of every month at 11 p.m. To begin, I'm going to select single for Power BI. I'm going to select the Power BI account and the report that I want to run is a sales report. And I'll click next to save that information. This is the scheduling tab and I want to run it monthly and I want to run it on the last day of every month. And the schedule time is going to be 11 p.m. So I will just overwrite what is written there. For more information on scheduling, please view the scheduling demo. Click next to save it. This is the settings tab and if you wish to format the PDF output, you can do that here. So if you want to change the page width or the page height, you would simply click and over type whatever you want the page height to be. I don't have any changes to make here, so I'm going to click next. The report filters tab. This is where you enter the report filters. My report has a filter of a sales executive, so I'm going to enter that now. So I'll click add. And here I need to enter the table. And then the column that holds the value that I need. And it is a string, so I will accept that. And the salesperson I'm going to run that for, I'll enter there and click Add. As you can see, my filter is saved successfully. I'll click Next. Refresh data sets. If you want to refresh the data set before executing the report, you would do that here. I don't want to, so I'm going to click Next. And this is where we add the destination. I'm going to use disk and that folder. And the format that I'm going to use is CSV. And then I just need to choose the visual that I'm going to output to CSV. Just wait while this loads for a few moments. And I will add. And I want to do the sales by year. And I'm going to export summary data. The format options are how you want to separate the information with a character or a tab and what delimiter you want to use. I'm going to accept the defaults. I'll click OK. And here we have my destination. This is the exception handling. For more information on exception handling, please view the exception handling demo. Custom actions. Again, for more information on custom actions, please view the custom actions demo. And I will click finish to save the schedule. That is now saved. And to show you the output, I'm going to first of all execute this schedule manually. So right click and execute. The report has now executed. So let's show you the resulting output and to show you the CSV I'm just going to select it and open it with notepad and there you have the CSV file.
Christian Stephen Software. Bigger data, better business.